Hi, I'm Vicki. I'm in tech support department. Here to talk about doing a power cleaning on a 4000 series printer. I brought out the 4880 for this demonstration, but first we're going to talk about when and if you need to do a power cleaning. All right, so we're going to talk about why and if we should do a power cleaning. When to do a power cleaning. Power cleaning is about a clogged nozzle. So you need to first determine if the nozzle's clogged. Now doing a, a, a nozzle check will help you determine that. And what you're looking for in a nozzle check is a redundant pattern, meaning that a color is being missed or you've got gaps in the colors in any one of the eight colors that are on this printer. So again, uh, gaps don't necessarily mean a power clean. Gaps could mean that your capping station is dirty, and that's a different video, cleaning the capping station. You can go look for that video. And that would be a random uh, nozzle check, meaning not the same color is missing, not the same gaps every time. That would be a capping station cleaning, but we're talking about the power cleaning. The power cleaning means that the same color misses every time you do a nozzle check, or you've got the same gap in the same places when you review your nozzle check, the lines in it, meaning that the gaps are in the same places every single time. That's when you do a power cleaning. So now I'm going to go to the menu and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so now we're at the menu. Power's on. It says ready. So you want to be at ready mode. Your LCD is going to going to let you know uh, what menu you're in. So this is, this is a ready menu. We're going to press the menu button one time, far right, and it says printer setup. So we're going to go to the down arrow key. Down arrow key is right here, center. Press it down, two, three, four. Four times, maintenance. You're going to see maintenance on your display. Your menu key acts as an enter key, so you're going to press menu key one time. You see cutter replacement. We're not going to do that. So we're going to arrow down until we see power cleaning. That's one, two, two times. Power cleaning shows on the display, PWR cleaning. You're going to press your menu key, and it's going to ask you if you want to perform a power cleaning. And it's going to say no to the far left, and it's going to say yes to the far right. So which, how do you know what to press? You're going to press your far right arrow key, which is your up arrow key, and you're going to click yes. Now, it's going to blink back and forth before you click yes. You're going to see this little blinky screen. You're going to say, hey, what's that? So you're going to read it, and it's going to tell you that prepare yourself because you're going to raise and lower the levers during the duration of this clean. And it's not just one time or twice. It's going to be several times. So you need to stay by your printer. Make sure you stand here and raise the le levers when it says raise, lower the levers when it says lower until the end of the power clean. And then at the end of it, it's going to let you know it's ready. So again, you're going to press yes, and it's going to execute the power clean. Power clean lasts probably about eight minutes, so make sure you stand by your printer and do exactly what the display tells you. And when it's over, you'll know that too. Okay, so I've explained when to do a power cleaning on the, four, on the 4000 series printers, when not to do a power cleaning. Make sure that you understand that to do a power cleaning should be done only when you've exhausted everything else that you can do because it does dump a lot of ink and we don't want you to waste any ink here. So make sure you understand that concept. If you have any questions about when or if you should do one, give us a call here at Condi. My name is Vicki. I'm in the tech support department. And as always, thank you for your time.